Hi, I'm Sean Clark. Today I'm standing in front of Willie's Wonderland from Willie's Wonderland. Welcome to Horror's Hollowed Ground. So we're gonna start our adventure here, where the film begins, and also where the film ends. This is where, right about there, is where Nicolas Cage's tires get blown out and he gets trapped and gets sucked into Willy's Wonderland. So the reason I'm doing this one, you know, it seems like it's kind of a new film for me. I usually let things marinate, you know, give them time. But something tells me this is gonna become a cult classic. I think it will. After doing research on the locations, they're not going to last. I mean, this road will still be here. However, other ones like the mobile home park, the bowling alley, which is what Willy's Wonderland is, the exterior is a bowling alley, an old abandoned bowling alley. Those things don't look long for this earth. If I came back 10 years from now, there'd probably be nothing left to see but this road. So I said, what the heck, let's do it. My good friend Grant Kramer produced the film. You might know Grant from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Hard Bodies. He is the producer of Willy's Wonderland, and also, you may not have known this, he played Willy in the film. The guy who sacrifices himself for a satanic ritual, that is Grant Kramer. He is Willy. Come on, how cool is that? So let's go take a look at this spot. It was a trip how quiet it was out there. This road is actually not accessible to the public, so it was just eerily quiet. I never saw one car the entire time I was out there. As you can see this aerial shot, there are some buildings in the background. They're over there, they're just hard to see over that little hill. Right about here is where his tires blew out. They've added these speed bumps to the road. Don't know why, because ain't nobody speeding through here. Not since that movie was made at least. I'm pretty much in the spot where he was parked. I was kind of nervous to walk out into these fields here. I got a lot of ticks on me while I was out in Georgia, and they suck. But you can see the background matches up pretty much with the film. Not a whole lot has changed. So it's up from this way that the tow truck driver comes driving and heads towards Nicolas Cage. You notice that sign, that yellow sign, is this weird sort of gray, looks like a stop sign that's been faded. I don't know. He stops right there in front of Nicolas Cage on this lonely road. Now we head to the mobile home park. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't feel real safe entering this mobile home park. As you can see, most of these mobile homes are vacant, but there were people living in some. And I'm just going to guess that they probably weren't the friendliest sorts. I don't know. I was just afraid somebody might pop out with a shotgun and a ball gag and, you know, a jar of Vaseline and ready for a good time. And I wasn't there for that. I was there for this location here, Liv's trailer. So let's take a closer look at it and see how sketched I really was. So we're in the trailer park from Willy's Wonderland, and it is sketchy i gotta be honest with you it is straight sketchy like most of these look abandoned but like somebody's living here but this is it's totally uh lives trailer it's, it's closed there used to be a tree here it's been cut down you can see this is it truck pulled up here. The guys jumped out to help. You can 
see that other trailer behind it. This is number 14. By the looks of these scenes here, looking out the front door of the mobile home, it does look like they use the interiors of this mobile home. As you can see there. It looks abandoned. I don't know. There's a lock on it. Maybe somebody lives here. I have no idea. But. It is sketchy. It's sketched down. So I'm going to get out of here before somebody pulls a shotgun on me and ties me up to a bed and makes me do math. Now if you look in this aerial shot, you can see that row of mailboxes there near the bottom. There they are right there. And you can also see that mobile home right there pretty well. Now the way they shot this, they make it look like he turns out of the mobile home park right into this garage, but this is far away. So now we are at the exterior of Jed's garage. They also use the interiors for Jed's garage at this location. This is actually Walter's Bale Press Corporation of America. You can actually see this sign as they're pulling the tow truck in. If you look real closely, that says Walter's Bale Press very quickly as they drive in this way. You know what's crazy is they actually drive past this van. This van is still here. There was a different car parked here. But this van is still here. What a trip. And just as they pass this van, it goes to an aerial shot looking down at the top of this building. And you can see that this truck is still here. That white car is still here. The red truck behind it, it's all still here. As they head this way. And it looks like this was the entrance they used. Wow, it's creepy. They shot it from over here. As you can see this yellow tank up as they pulled the car up right here. It's a cool location. This is nuts. Nicholas Cage was here. What a trip. This is crazy. This is like a legit junkyard. Off to the next location. Screen used Willy's Wonderland van right here. Nobody's interested. So this is actually the Douglas police station, but this doubled as the police station in Willy's Wonderland. To be a police station then but yeah oh yeah yeah this is totally it what a trip that is awesome <laughs> that's so cool man oh yeah well, yeah so you know, if i seen nicholas cage i was like yeah he, he, he knew what he did you get to meet him i didn't get to meet him oh uh, wow this is neat very cool. So oh. I wanted to see it when it came out. I forgot all about it until you said something about oh, it. I it's... know they feel like Stranger Things and stuff like that here too. So right here is where they shot all the interiors of Willy's Wonderland. So the actual Willy's Wonderland is inside here. Or was. It's now something else, another production, another film. But 
This is probably the nicest location of all of them because all the locations are pretty nasty for the most part. This one actually looks nice. So now we're at Willie's Wonderland. It's an old abandoned bowling alley, believe it or not. They didn't shoot inside this building. Those were all interiors done in another location that we've already seen, so you should know that. This is it. They just built a front door out. Like, if you look at it, it's kind of coming off the building. And that was the entrance right here to Willie's Wonderland. Let's take a look. Wonder if people have like tried to get in here because they think maybe on the other side there's some old animatronics, but there's not. You know, it's, this is just an old bowling alley. It's funny as you can actually still see where the graffiti was <laughs> right here. They painted over it where it said Kid Killers. And right here is where it said Bulldoze This Building. Here's where the fake entrance was. And then right over here is where it said Gateway to Hell. And they've painted over it. And this is when Tex comes out and talks to Jed by the truck. It was back here where they walked around the corner. They think I'm creeping up on them when I'm really just trying to get some movie location photos. <clears throat> See, this is where they walked by. Yep, this is it. They came from here. And they have the ladder. You can still see the holes from where they attached it. But they did not film on the top of this building. I would assume it's way too dangerous. You can tell that was green screened. And the top of this building looks nothing like the one they used in the film. But this is legitimately behind the structure that's the uh, front of Willy's Wonderland. The thing I'm really curious about is if they do a sequel, which I think is inevitable, I think they will do a sequel, will this building still be here? Or are they gonna have to fabricate something to look just like this building? Wouldn't be that hard, but you know, this thing looks like it could be torn down any day. Here in beautiful Georgia. Interesting fun fact. I've already spoken more words in this episode than Nick Cage did in the entire movie. I thought his performance was actually pretty awesome. I mean, to be able to do an entire role without speaking a word, all through facial expressions, and I mean, it was it was pretty awesome. Uh, I'm, I love Nick Cage. He can really do no wrong in my book. Vampire's Kiss, though, I mean, that's really, that's, you don't get much better than that. That's the pinnacle, that's the height. This is where we are going to end our tour. Hope you enjoyed this. Please remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff that apparently helps me out. I don't know. See you on the next adventure.